Yo, what's up guys? In this one, I'm just going to quickly share something I discovered how to how to do. And that's how to apply inner shadows to our 3D button. So if you've checked out my other videos, I showed you how to make this sort of soft UI new morphic look. Um, just by adding a couple shadows, top left, top and uh, bottom right. Uh, but with these buttons, the face of the button is flat. Um, it's either flat or it looks like it's kind of concave in. Um, and so what I played around is I played around with the inner shadows and made it look kind of concave out. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do that using Flutter code. Cool. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my other videos, definitely check them out. But essentially all we did is we just have a container and we've just got two shadows. So this bottom right shadow and this top left shadow. So to apply some inner shadows, the problem is in Flutter, there is actually no um, direct inner shadow um, property as of now. Uh, but we, what we can do is we can kind of emulate or mimic um, the look by adding a gradient. Okay, so in our decoration, I'm just gonna add a gradient, oops, and we're going to add a linear gradient. And with the linear gradient, we're going to specify a few properties. So we need to specify, uh, specify a begin um, as well as an end. So since our light source is like at the top left corner and it's shining down at this light, we also want our gradient to behave in a similar property. So alignment, and we want it starting from the top left, and we want it to end with um, the bottom right and of course we have to decide what colors we're going to use now I'm going to put the link um, to this code in the description so you guys can just tweak the colors but these are the colors that I found uh, works pretty nicely so we're going to go colors gray let's start with 200 Okay, now even just with this, if I just save it, there we go, it already looks like it's um, kind of 3D, like concave out, uh, like outwards at us, if, if um, you know what I mean. So I think that's actually enough to make it look like 3D, but you can actually even play around with these, with this other property, which is stops. And I had these numbers here, so 0 0.1, 0.3, Zero point eight and zero point nine, and if I save that, that's kind of what I uh, ended up with. Now it seems like even if you don't have this, it looks good enough. But you guys can be the judge of whatever um, look and feel you want for your app. But yeah, even with this, I think it's completely fine. Essentially, what this stops property does is for each respective color, like four of these, you can decide. Like if the top left is zero and the bottom right is one, I believe it is, you can kind of decide where along that you want each gradient to kind of start. Um, but yeah, I, th I feel like the best way to understand how each property works is, is to just fiddle around with the numbers. Um, and yeah, I look at these uh, icons like every day and this inner shadow makes a world of difference. It just makes it that touch more modern. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe all of that and also follow me on Instagram I'll link it in my description so thanks ladies